Yes. Just so that God can have his yes, way. Yes, yes. Amen. Are you hearing me tonight? Amen. All right. Tasha, would you jump into this? Um, I absolutely agree. Uh, the word says, um, in all that you get understanding. And uh, you first have to understand that this, this life, it really isn't about you. You know what I'm saying? It's about what the Lord wants you to do here. And I think um, one of the things that really had me down is for everybody who doesn't know, I was in the secular industry for a long time. I'm a bit of a prodigal daughter. I got saved when I was 19, went a little bit astray, and I was in the, the secular industry working with a whole lot of uh, top names that you probably know now. I made a lot of money. I was on top of everything. And God called me off the road. He called me off of that path and back into the fold. But when I first got here, it was totally different than what I thought. I thought, okay, the promises of God are, you know, that I, I'm ahead and I can tell, I'm above and I believe, and I, you know, I was declaring it and praying and everything, and I'm like, but things are going down. It seemed like right. things were being taken away from me instead of being added. And now I find myself in a financial situation, troubles and things like that. And I'm saying, oh, man, this is backwards. And there was a time where I really wanted to leave it. God had um, a couple ministers here to come to me and prophesy to me just to, you know, get me to understand that I'm always with you. I'm trying to break off of you the fact that you're depending on something else other than me. You keep me first in all that you do. So now any challenge that I face, I know that I just have to stand on the word of God and, um, continue to focus and set my face as a flint and he'll always be with me. And um, I have no worries. Right. So that means I think sometimes what God does, he brings situations in our lives to break us. Yes. Yes. To break us, to get us back 